Hey YouTube, good morning. Actually it's afternoon, but I just woke up. I had my alarm set for 11, then I changed it to 11.45 because I have a 3.30 appointment, but I'm gonna run my errands first. I just woke up 20 minutes ago, washed my face, used my nasal spray for allergies, put in my antihistamine eye drops, and I brushed my teeth. That's all I've done so far. Oh, and I brushed my hair. I did cut it again last night. Today is April 3rd. So the reason you're going to get ready with me, yes, I woke up like this. This is really clearing up and you know what's doing it, but that's not about this video. Maybe like twice a week, depending, I use the Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum from Drunk Elephant and maybe once or twice a week, I also use the Drunk Elephant Bouncy Bright Facial Mask Illuminator. These two products, even just using one of them it, it's been helping this and I'm going to zoom in which is me leaning this is still red here for those of you who are new here this started with COVID with wearing a mask because I wear the KN95 or the KF94 which is the equivalent of the KN95 and those are the ones that's like it's a solid seal and so I would sweat inside the mask and it would create this eczema issue here. This here started a couple months ago, also when wearing a mask. And so, and I did change masks. I don't wear the same one like indefinitely. And so that's what this is, this redness and these bumps here. So it's not acne. There is a name for it. I will look it up what the dermatologist said and put here, which she said this is. And she gave me a steroid cream for here that didn't work. And she gave me a different cream for down here. Didn't work. But these two products, first time using them, I saw a difference. And so I continue to use them only once or twice a week because my skin loves my regular skincare routine too. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take our, I'm going to just show you. And I'll list below what I'm using because I want to tell you what this appointment is. I'm going to run errands before the appointment because I don't know how I'm going to feel after the appointment because it's for Botox. And it's not for what you think. It's for migraine treatment. And if you look up um, Botox.com, it does talk about using Botox for migraine treatment. And I had heard about it years ago. And I was like, hmm, that would be interesting. And But then I didn't think much of it. And when I would see, you know, commercials, I wouldn't think much of it. And when I had my follow-up neurology appointment like a week ago, yeah, it was actually last Monday. Um, you know, he asked me a bunch of questions. And one of my triggers for migraines is sleep deprivation. And so he said, well, have you considered Botox for treatment? And I'm like... Actually, I have been interested in it, but I didn't think that the VA offered it. And so I never, you know, asked for it. And so we talked more about it. And he was like, well, look up this website, Botox.com, and look up this and look up, look up that. And I said, well, I am interested in it. This was this. And I am nearing the end of that bottle because... I'm squeezing the pump and then letting it go, but there is not much pumping out. <laughs> Little tiny dot. So this is nearing the end. Um, if you want to know about these products, I do have a skincare playlist. Um, actually, I'll put something in the cards up here or as an, as an end cap. But I am going to do a review on the Junk Elephant products that I showed you and some other products from subscription boxes that I tried. Because one I was really surprised about. So, And this is sticky. I look at my cheeks. This area. <laughs> but I don't mind it because then I put this on it. So we were talking about it. And maybe like 40 minutes later, I said, well, if you want to do it, let me back up. Because initially he said, well, if you want to do it, we can do it today. And I'm like... And I think that's what made him hesitate. And he was like, well, look it up and this and that. And so like 40 minutes later, after we're talking about that and other stuff, 
I said, well, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and do it. And he said, well, I want you to look it up first. And I said, well, I said, remember, I did tell you. This has a pump, too, but it's near the end. So that's why <laughs> I'm trying to get all of it out. I said, I, I have heard of it for migraine treatment. And I, I was curious about it and interested in it. I didn't think that the VA offered it. And so, but sitting here, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Because whether I wait or come back, I'm still going to want to do it. And he looked at the time. And he said, well, now we're past that time because the appointment time was slotted for an hour. And so he said, well, we can schedule another appointment. So think about it and let me know. I said, I'm letting you know right now. Like, let's just do it. And so my appointment is today. I'm nervous about it because even though I had heard about it for migraine treatment, I didn't look up details. It's 31 needles. Yeah, you heard me. 31 needles. And so I said, well, where do they all go? <laughs> and, and I told him he could touch my face because I want to know like, where it's going to go. So he started with, there'll be some here and then like a couple here and here. And then he went here and then he said, and then he started like poking my head. And then he's like poking down here and hit. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and then he sat back and he looked at me again and he went, you have beautiful skin. It's not that you need Botox. This really would just be for treatment. And so that told me that some people do be like, oh, I get a migraine once a month. Can I get Botox? Because they want to cover up, you know, well, not cover up, but they also want to treat their wrinkles. Um, and so I was like, oh, well, thank you. But then this morning when I was looking at my face, sorry, I do have a line right here, but since there's going to be like two right here, that might take that away. So I'm looking in the mirror this morning after I washed my face and dried it. And I'm like, well, I do have a couple wrinkles here. <laughs> I do have a couple wrinkles up here. I don't know if, if I want them this close to my eye. For like these wrinkles. But I'm like, maybe I can get them to put a couple. <laughs> but 31? So what I may tell him is, or what I may ask him is, once he does all the ones for migraine treatment, because they're here, here, they're in your scalp, they're down the back of like your neck, and some right here. And I'm just like, ooh. So what I may ask him is, is after he does all of the ones for treatment, if I still feel like I'm not going to die, <laughs> which I don't think I will, if he can just put a couple here. So I'm not sure about that yet, but we're going to see. And so I was just like, oh, and so I'm going to come back later today. I'm going to leave the screen up because that's going to remind me to add a clip onto this video about what happened. And he said, there will be little red marks. And he said, how far, how far does it take you to get home? How long does it take you to get home from here? I said, about 20 minutes, 30 depending on traffic. But on a good day, 20 minutes. And then you got to spend you know, time for parking. The parking situation is kind of crazy. Um, unless you want to get there like super early, which I don't want to do. Because usually this time of day I'm still asleep. So I'm not trying to get up earlier than I have to. And you'll notice this did get more red because I'm rubbing and agitating it. But after you know, a few moments, this will subside back to how you saw it after I just washed it and dried it. And he said, well, it'll leave little red marks, little red bumps. He said, by the time you get home, they'll be gone. So I'm like, oh, okay. And so the reason I got up earlier than usual, again, my appointment's 3.30. I, set, I reset my alarm for it, 11.45, because I have errands to run. I want to go to Supergiant. I want to go to all these. I'm going to have to drop a package off at UPS. I have packages to drop off at um, the post office. And it was somewhere else I wanted to go. So I'm doing all of that before my appointment because I don't know how I'm going to feel. And also, I don't know, is it really just going to be little red bumps? You know, because with me, it could be <laughs> anything. So I just wanted to share this with you. This is something different from my channel. This is not about makeup or skincare, except we put on my um, wake up skincare. And I'm looking at my caboodle, making sure I didn't forget anything, which I didn't. Um, yeah, this is about migraine treatment, Botox at that. So I, I'm nervous.
And so he's going to do it right away. I don't know how long it takes. Oh, also, he looked over at me and he said, you have the perfect haircut for, the, for this. And I'm like, because when he was saying in your head, he said when people come in with long, thick hair, he has to like feel around, part their hair with his hand, feel around to where to put the needle. He said, but you, I can just look and just do what I need to do. So he said it may be a quicker process than if, than someone who had, you know, longer, thicker hair. And so I let him know today. I cut my hair again last night. I'm going to go. You'll see me in a few seconds. I'm nervous. Can you tell? You'll see me soon. Pumpkin pie chapstick. I survived. Listen, I am so tired. I don't know why. I think because I was so nervous about all the shots. And... Got through it. I'm going to tell you about that experience. And then after he was done, I was just like, Phew. it's like all my energy just drained out of my body. And so I don't know. And I, I'm guessing like if you're like hyping yourself up to do something or you're working yourself up to do something, you know, it's going to be stressful. You know, it might be some discomfort and you get through it. And then when it's done, it's like, Phew. I am exhausted. And afterwards, he was like, you can sit here as long as you need to. And I'm like, no, because I will fall asleep. I'm like, I am so exhausted right now. And I need I need to urinate and I'm thirsty. And so, <laughs> but he, he's a, a wonderful doctor. So this is what happened. First of all, when I went in, <laughs> they said, okay, you're going to see so-and-so. I said, well, who is that and what's she going to do? I'm like, I'm here for the Botox treatment for migraine prevention. And they were like, oh, then I'm like, uh. So she was like, okay, wait here. I'm going to straighten this out because he just had a 2.30 appointment for also Botox. And I was the 3.30 appointment, but they had him and another colleague had switched patients, but it not clicking in that he's the one at this Botox, not the other one. So they straightened that out. And so when he came down the hall, he's like, oh, I am so sorry. Da, 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 da. And I said, you were trying to pass me off to some new person. And he was like, no, no, no. So he started explaining you know, what the mix-up was and, you know, them just trying to rearrange schedules and, and all of that stuff. But anyway, so we get in there and, you know, I had to sign some paperwork. My blood pressure, y'all, was through the roof. My previous therapist told me I have white coat syndrome and I do check my pressure at home and it is never as high as when I go into the hospital. The second time she took it, it was 183 over 113 and she was just like, whoa, I'm like, I'm stressing. Like, I was just so anxious and i'm not squeamish about needles when i go for lab work i'll sit there and watch them and stick the needle in my arm but just the thought of you're going to be sticking 31 needles in my face my scalp down the back of my neck my shoulder i was just like that's that's a lot <laughs> so sat on the table and he lifted the table and he said where well, he's going to start right here and he said these will be the worst the ones near the eye and <laughs> i said not that you have to, but since you're going to be sticking me in my face. <laughs> so when I go like this, there are some wrinkles here and some wrinkles here. I said, I'm not that vain, so don't feel obligated. And and I said, this right here, which is weird. And he's like, that is kind of strange. And I'm like, yeah, I just said that. But he said, you don't have 11s. Because when he frowned, he said, it's only when you frown. And I said, yeah, it's like right here. I said, I think it's a fat pocket. Like, look at this. It's just like a fat pocket right here. And so he said, these are 11s. And he went like this, and it's the two lines. And that's what they call 11s. I said, y'all don't have 11s. So I frowned. He said, frown again. I did. And he's like, that is really strange. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's something when the doctor tells you something about you is strange. Because Troll knows she got issues. <laughs> but when you have like a certified board licensed doctor looking at you and saying that's strange, it's just like, okay. <laughs> And he said, what was strange was when I frowned, I don't have 11s, but this line pops up. And I, I've i seen it, but I never paid attention to it. And he said, relax your eyes again. And I did. And it goes away. And I said, are you talking about right here? Because I can feel it. Just like how you can see how this raises right here. I can feel it. Like touching it, I can feel it. But when I look in the mirror, I never pay attention to it. Because when I look in the mirror, I'm usually not frowning. And I only notice this. And these up here from doing videos. And he was like, yeah, that's strange. It only just pops out when you frown. So I'm just like, okay, dude. So 
And then he's saying how, you know, different people, their faces, the bone structure and all of that stuff. And most of us know that, right? So he said, I'm going to do the worst first. He said, the ones around the eyes are the worst. And I'm like, just go for it. And he's like, let me know if I go too fast or too slow. I said, I agreed to do this. I'm here. Just do what you got to do. It's 31 needles. Just, just, just get it done. <laughs> um, so he says, okay. So I don't know if you can see. There's a red mark right here. And there's a red mark right here. Those were the first two and they were painful. And when he stuck that needle in, I went, because you have to be still too, because they're putting a needle in your face. So, so I knew, and he said, just try not to move. And he had um, one arm on my, he had one hand on my shoulder and the other one, well, first, well, he was holding it and then he put the needle in and I went, and that's when he put his hand on my shoulder and I just went, because I'm also mindful not to be making faces too, right? Because he has a needle in my face near my eye. And so I was just, just taking deep breaths. So he did that one. And then immediately he did this one where that red mark is. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. so he finishes with that one. He's like, are you okay? And I said, no, I said, I'll say it this way. I'm as okay as I ever am because I'm never a hundred percent okay. So I was, I'm, I'm as okay as I ever am. And especially considering the circumstances right now. So he said, okay. So then he did this one right here in the middle. <laughs> that one hurt too. And then he did, there's this one I can see. So he did do where <laughs> I said the lines were. And, and then he did this one and then he did one here. This is just a mark. This is not from a needle. And so it was only, I think he did a couple over here. And he did say the marks would be gone by the time I came home. And for the most part, they, part they are because I went in the restroom afterwards because I didn't need to urinate and I was looking because there were some down here too and so it's just it's, it was just strange and I said it's just strange how for migraines it comes down here but then I said you know what this is a muscle right here you know and that's the first thing they go to when you do massages is they just grab this right here and start massaging it so I said it does make sense and we know that everything in our body is connected but it really is I mean it's stuff just does stuff and so then he did this side next and there was, he did a few here and around here. Those didn't hurt as much. The worst ones were the first two, this one and this one. These two, not as bad, but these right here were the absolute worst. And so these weren't too bad. A couple I didn't even feel. And then he came over to this side and this mark right here, this is a blood mark. Actually, it looks like two right here. And each time when he would pull the needle out, he would put a piece of gauze over it, you know, so it wouldn't bleed a lot. But where you see this dark circle, that's one. And this one next to it, that's another one. And I see another one here. Um, and then, so he did the face, then he did this. And then he went around to the back. And I'm just like, <sighs> I, and I never looked up the website to see where they put the needles, but he did explain it to me. And I, I think I didn't want to know too much. <laughs> Because then I really would have been like, you really sticking me in my head like I'm Pinhead from Hellraiser. And so there were some back here. I think I see a patch, right? Not a patch, but a blood spot right there. Back here, some over here, and some on the nape of your neck, like where your skull ends. Between where your skull ends, like right in the middle and, and where your hairline stops, there were a couple in there. And then there were some like here. And then, you know, he pulled my shirt over and there were like three or four right here and three or four like back here. And I'm just like, those were not painful. And I said, I appreciate you doing the worst ones first. And he said, he likes to start with the worst first. I said, I appreciate that. But these right here. And so he did all of that. And, you know, every time, and a few of them did hurt and it, I could feel... I'm thinking a hair follicle was pulling out or a piece of hair was pulling out because there were quite a few when he took the needle out, I can feel it. And it felt like skin pulling. So I don't know if it was a hair follicle or just like a piece of hair got caught on a needle or what. And so I would be like, ow. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. And we talked through the whole thing because that helped me not be nervous and not focus on the pinprick. And so I thanked him for talking, me, talking with me and listening to me while I was talking. 
about different things. And the whole process was maybe like 20 minutes. It wasn't even long, but it felt like two hours. And so he was really good about it. And at one point he said, if you feel faint or if you feel dizzy, just let me know and, you know, we can do this with you lying down. But then I thought, okay, he said here, here, and back here. So how are you going to do that if I'm laying down? That's what I was thinking. And so I'm like, no, and I am prone to vertigo. I do have a medication for that. And so I'm just like sitting there and I'm like, I wish I had a stuffed animal with me. He said his other office, he has a stuffed animal. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there like holding my hands. And at one point I grabbed um, the armrest on the table because I didn't I knew not to move and so it was just like be still deep breaths just say ow when it hurts and not move or be like ow you know what I'm saying and <laughs> he said one person fainted and he said it was a guy <laughs> and not being sexist or anything and I said you know what though I said men aren't known to be physically stronger than women but women have internal strength like, we push out babies out of our vagina. That's a whole different type of strength. He was like, you have a point there. And he said, the ones that are more brave than that, they're just like, knock me out and just cut me open and do a C-section. But either way, it's, it's, I don't have children, but I've heard stories. And I was 10 pounds, 10 and a half ounces, and my mother pushed me out of her vagina. And they say your vagina is only like three inches long. It's, uh, that's what they say. I mean, I don't, that's what I got in the college gynecologist told me once but anyway so that was traumatizing for my mom and for me I know I'm rambling one side of my face was paralyzed and I was born and she said it was from the pressure like my eye wouldn't open that side of my mouth wouldn't open and I don't remember what side it is because this eye this eye this eye appears to be droopy but it's higher up this one is more rounded like if you look at my eyes and when I smile this side comes down. So I don't know, was this the paralyzed side or this side? I don't know. And my mom has dementia, so I, I can't ask her. And my dad wasn't around, so he doesn't know. And even looking at my nostrils. And most people's faces are not symmetrical anyway. But I attributed mine to one side of my face was paralyzed when I was born. But anyway, that was my process. Um <sighs> So I got through it and so we're sitting there, you know, wrapping up and he's like, so, you know, you know, usually it takes two or three treatments. And so I'll have you come back in three months. I said, well, I got to do this again. I started stuttering <laughs> and I said, it's okay though. It's okay. I said, I agree to it. Um, I know now, you know, what it's going to feel like. So, you know, it's, it's all good. Um, he said most people it takes at least two treatments. Um, and as usual, I will still track my migraines and, you know, still figuring out triggers or if I do know what a trigger is for a particular migraine and just see if my migraine days decrease between now and three months. And so I do have an appointment scheduled for three months to do this again. And I am just wiped out. And so I am glad earlier I ran all of my errands, um, came in, my groceries are waiting to be unloaded. I'm going to eat a snack because I did eat lunch on my way to the hospital. And so I'm going to eat a snack, unload groceries, eat a snack, take my pain med for my regular body pain and just lay down and take a nap. I am just exhausted. Like once it was over, I was just like, like now I can just like fall out. <laughs> but it was an experience. Um, let me know your thoughts. <laughs> If you've had Botox, he was telling me there's both people have Botox parties. And I'm just like, I said, I'm not that vain <laughs> just to be doing this. I can't, and I'm not knocking it. If you do Botox, I am not knocking it. Do you boo boo, whatever you need to do to help yourself feel better. That's what you do outside of drugs and alcohol and illegal stuff. <laughs> Let me clarify. Um, but I just can't imagine just being stuck in the face and in your head and in your, your collarbone and the nape of your neck just because you don't want to wrinkle. And even though, like, my under eyes, I did have that dermatology procedure, and then that didn't... I mean, it helped for a little while, but then, you know, most of the milia are still gone. Certain eye creams, if I try something new, if it's too thick, the milia will come back. Then I'll stop using it, keep using the tetranoin, they'll go away again. But I did notice after that treatment, this patch right here... 
it's darker than it used to be. And so I'm just like, hmm. So it was kind of like a trade. My milia was taken away, but now this patch is darker. And there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not going to have any more um, dermatology treatments for my under eye area anyway. And I had a thing here that was removed that's still gone. This I had removed. The scar tissue left a scar. It looked better before they did the thing. But it's good they took it out because then they did the biopsy, make sure it wasn't you know anything serious and it really wasn't nothing. It was just some type of benign growth in there. But so, yeah, I just can't imagine just getting stuck in my face just because of wrinkles um yeah, he was like yeah they have botox parties and you know you go to somebody's house and it's an actual party and there's you know alcohol there's drinks there's champagne there's snacks and then a the doctor just goes around and sticks people in their face i'm just like i ain't about that life <laughs> like i just can't imagine because these right here these three were the worst these two i can still feel especially when i go like this like i can feel it and my, my scalp, it doesn't hurt, but there's just like a mild throbbing. And he says he does 29 instead of 31 because he combines two of the shots in the same place or whatever. I don't know. But last week he said 31 shots. Today he said he does 39. But my, my head is just feeling, not my head like my brain or whatever, but like my scalp. That's what I, that's what I want to say. My scalp just feels... It feels like it's pulsating a little bit. It feels like it's going like this. And it's not painful, but it's just an awareness that it, it feels like it's going like this. And I'm just like, and I'm guessing that's the, the Botox because it is an injection. They, they inject stuff into, you know, your face, your head, your scalp. So it's a needle and they push stuff in. So there is stuff in there. But yeah, it just feels like it's going like this. And I'm I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go. But I hope this was, I guess, interesting. I don't know. I know it's definitely different for my channel. This is not a medical channel. It's not, you know, trolls treatment channel or anything. But I just thought, you know, it'd be something different. And just to let you know a little bit more about my little personal life and, and what I'm doing as far as treatment for some of my different issues and so yeah that'll be it for this video um he did say the one here he said that would loosen up some or or go down some because i think it is just a fat pocket like look at this but he said that'll decrease a little bit so and i don't even think i would even notice i think i might notice the wrinkles but it's not even that bad like it's you know but yeah, so the Botox was for migraine treatment. As far as I know, if it is for wrinkles, they just do that area. Like if I had a lot of wrinkles, they would just do my forehead and maybe here. But migraine, they do two here, 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 here. They do a cluster, you know, through here. And then they do some in the back, the nape of your neck. And they come down here and do some in this area for migraine treatment so i'm just tired y'all <laughs> but i did it and i'll be doing it again in three months Woo. Woo. all right y'all thank you for being here and i know i didn't do my regular intro i did just jump in but as always self-acceptance and self-love that is the crazy phil nation way thank you for being here and you will see me soon. I'm looking at how the redness went back down like it was when I first got up. Look at my skin. I mean, my skin is just glowy and just hydrated and not under here. That's my double back side. Pow! <laughs> but it's me and it's okay. I'm really going to go. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to have a snack and take a nap. Listen, I'm really tripping, right? Earlier today, this song got stuck in my head. Let me know if you remember this song. Man, I think I'm delirious right now. And I don't know the whole song. I only remember one lyric, and it's the hook. And it goes, Benny. Dun, 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 dun. Benny and the Jets. <laughs> Let me know if y'all.
y'all remember that song? I don't know where that came from when I was getting ready this morning doing my skin not skin care because I did that here with you. But when I was brushing my teeth and washing my face, I was like, Bup, up, up, in the jets. And I'm like, I looked around like, where did it come from? <laughs> and it's been stuck in my head ever since. Let me know if you remember that song. I'm like, where did, where in the world did that come from? And it's still stuck in my head. Benny in the jets. I'm tripping. I'm really going to go. 